Father, we just thank you so much. Okay, and these signs you, shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. What does it say? For them that what? Believe. For them that has a minister license, for them that has a degree. What does it say? That's what's the criteria for this? Believe. Believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. I do that when I go to the coffee shop. Cause sometimes you got people that look like they're in the coat. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know what they're doing to my drink. or, or my, I pray over my drink. And you need to pray over your drinks. You need to pray over your foods. I don't care where you get it. You need to Exodus 23, 25. He'll bless our water and bless our food. Because, you know, some food has been consecrated to demons and spirits can enter in through the food. Wow, that's true. I mean, you even look at, you know, Disney. I, I, there's a lot of demonic stuff going with Disney. But look at Snow White, the apple. The witch tried to get what? Take the apple. That's real. OK, they'll consecrate things. You, a lot of times, you know, you go to these certain restaurants and people don't bless their food. It could be like, say, a Hindu restaurant. Or sometimes uh, with Santa Rita. I was just at a place uh, not too far from here. They had a big Santa Rita thing. I was about to get me a breakfast burrito. And usually I'll just bless but the Lord said, don't even get that burrito. Because it has Santa Rita, all the skeletons and things of that sort. And sometimes the Lord said, you just bless the food. But there, see, you're in tune with the Holy Spirit. The Lord said, no. And I went in and found a power bar in my car, a nutritional power protein bar. Lord survived. Ram in the bush. Right? <laughs> so I just came in and I'm, you know. So, but we, you know, people have a lactose intolerant. A lot of that's caused by what? People eating food that has not been blessed. But you have a coworker just hands you food and you don't even bless it. Yeah, you just, hey, try this cup. You don't know what they're involved in. Right. That's good. You, I, I plead the blood of Jesus. I said, I plead the blood. I teach my kids to do the same thing. I plead the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Exodus 23, 25. You'll bless my food. Bless my water. Because sometimes they, they pray that spirits will actually go into the food. So when you eat it, people can get possessed. I remember one. Uh, I remember my, my pastor, uh, Fernando Perez, he was, um, we was at a, a deliverance conference. And. He had a word of knowledge. He says, look, I'm going I'm to pray for everyone that has stomach issues. And he had the word of knowledge that these people have eaten food. A lot, of, a lot of them have eaten food that they didn't pray over. And when he started praying, I'm telling you, like white foam started coming out of people's mouths. Wow. He's calling them demonic spirits that was in there, and they were healed. A lot of them were healed from that. Stomach issues, healed. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh, like I said, even when we look at allergies or uh, food allergies, I remember I had an individual. Matter of fact, I, uh, we played his video last time. Uh, David Nelson, mm -hmm. he, he brought his, his son that had food allergies. All these little food. I mean, everything. They had a list of all these allergies that he couldn't eat, like pizza, can have you know, a lot of desserts, anything. I mean, they had to look at a list and look at the back of the ingredients before they give him food. Before they give him anything. And I was like, man, that's not right. Like, a young kid can't even enjoy, you know, have a pizza party for the basketball team, can't enjoy the pizza or, or the punch or anything like that. And I said, let's pray. And if someone just in my spirit said, that's a demonic spirit. Yes. And as we started praying, I said, every demon behind the allergies in the mighty name of Yeshua Mashiach manifest. We started breaking the curses. From the mother's side to the father's side to first generation, I break every demonic spirit of these food. And he started, like, just started, you could see the manifestations. Well, anyway, about 10 days, 12 days later, I get a call. He's excited. He's like, my son's eating pizza. And I had forgot that we prayed. I'm like, okay, he's eating pizza. <laughs> he's eating this. All right, cool. Eating hot dogs. All right. Yeah. So he was just sharing with me, man, he's eating this. He's eating that. And I remember, okay, we had prayed for his allergies. But now to this day, he could eat all types of different types of food. 
Praise God. And I'm not saying people just go get prayed for and just test that. Be moved, be led by the spirit of God. OK, <laughs> I didn't tell him, you know, I didn't right then after prayed with him, just gave him a pizza. You know, <laughs> yeah. you don't. Yeah, you don't test God. OK, but I'm just saying, praise God. You know, I guess his, his father felt led to let him try the food and he's been OK ever since. Praise God. So that's a deliverance, right? Yeah. Deliverance over food. Father, we just thank you so much. There's no name above your name. I wouldn't serve any other name. Yeah, sure, Mashiach. There's that.